Hi, uh, today I wanted to cover up uh, not just backup but also restoring your data again um, from a, a location you may have chosen. In this instance I'm going to choose a cloud destination, so a cloud provider option. Um, so let's show you what the data looks like that I'm going to back up. So on this NAS I've got a, a folder, a shared folder called data um, and in there I've just got a bunch of old firmware files. They're a good size so I'm going to send those off for a backup. Um, so the first step I'm going to do is open up Hybrid Backup Sync 3. And then I've got a few options here for syncing and backup different options. So I'm going to choose the backup option. Um, here in the backup, uh, I've got backup now or I've got restore now. So I can't restore anything I haven't done a backup yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is click backup now. Um, you've got a couple of options here, relink backup job. So perhaps you've already got a backup job. Um, but I'm going to just choose here new backup job. So I'm going to tick the data folder because that's the folder that I want to back up. Click next. It's now asking the destination of the data. Um, for this one, I'm going to choose the MyQNAP Cloud Storage, our new cloud storage service. So I'm going to pick that one. It's already got my account name added in there. I'm going to click Next. Um, and I've already created a folder up there called TVSH1288 Backup. There's nothing in it, but that's where I'm going to use as my destination for this data. So I'm going to say OK on that one. So now I can see that I've got uh, a basic backup job set up, one folder going to that path. Um, I can change the name here, so I could call it something like H1288X Backup, for example. Um, so that's the, the job name um, description. You could say something like uh, Data Folder to Cloud. So you can pick whatever you want in the description. I'm going to click Next. Now I can set up a schedule. So let's say I wanted to create a schedule for this to happen every day at midnight. So there we go. Click OK. Um, I've also got an option down here to do backup now. So I'm going to let it do a backup now. So as soon as I finish creating this job, it's going to start doing the backup. You can choose things like version management, data integrity checks, things like that uh, if you want to. For this purpose, I'm not going to do that. Uh, but if I click Next, a few different rules here. You can exclude certain things, add compression, data deduplication, a few other functions that you can do here for encryption and things. Uh, I'm just going to leave everything default uh, for this setup. Uh, and just click Next. Just confirming that's what I've set. I'm very happy with that. And I'm going to click Create. Uh, so now the first thing it's going to do is go off, look at the source folder, uh, see how much data is actually in there that it needs to back up. Um, we can see information about the cloud destination. Let me just make that bigger. Uh, about the cloud destination here. So it says I've got 566 gigs of storage available up on the MyQNAP cloud storage. Um, so now it's going to start doing the backup. You can get a bit more information by clicking into the report. Uh, more information appears here once the backup is actually finished. But if I click Details uh, here within the, uh, the backup job, we can see that we're transferring data. Um, so the total file size was 2 gigabytes. Um, so we can see that it's already done that. It was pretty quick. So 2 gig uh, success. That's up in the cloud storage location now. So happy with that. There was details there showing you as files were transferring what was happening. But it finished so quick I didn't get to see it. So I'm just going to click close. Click close. So now we've successfully um, had that backup done. Um, all the data is now up in the uh, the cloud location. Um, so here I can go uh, log into the MyQNAP cloud system um, so that I can go see it. <clears throat> so we'll see in the, uh, the spaces here, we've got the MySpace EUS1. If I click in there, we've got the TVSH 1288 X backup file. And when I look in here, we've got the uh, the backup that was actually done. So there's the job name of what I created. So this is where the data is going to be living. So this is where all the data is um, within the backup job. So this is going to be where we're going to be able to restore from. So very happy with that. That's all completed. So happy that there was a successful uh, backup there. No problems at all. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a restore. Now, before I restore, just to show it working, I'm going to come into the file station uh, area here for this data folder, and I'm going to select all these files, and I'm going to right click it. I'm going to go delete, and I'm going to say delete permanently. Don't even put it in the recycle bin so I can cheat. So that's just going to get rid of all that data uh, so that it's no longer on the NAS. So that's gone now. All the, uh, the data's gone from the folder. It's no longer showing. And just to illustrate, it's not in the recycle folder either. It's definitely gone from the NAS. So now if I go back to Hybrid Backup Sync 3, go back to Backup Restore, this time I'm going to go create a restore job. So here if I go Restore, 
I'm going to pick the MyQNAP cloud storage. It's automatically selected the right one. So the backup source, so it's asking me to say original location or select a different location. I'm going to say put it back in the original location because I've already deleted it from there. I want it back in the same place. Um, a conflict policy if you want to change any settings. Oh, it wants me to specify a backup job. So I'm picking the H1288X backup job and it's going to the original location. Oh, specify the source, it's going to be the data folder. Click OK. Click Next. Um, I'm not going to do a schedule on this one because this is just a sort of one-time restore. I shouldn't have to keep doing this. So I'm just going to say Restore Now. No schedule with it. Click Next. You get a few options again. Um, so for example, if you'd had um, client-side encryption or anything that you needed to type in passwords for, this is where you do it in these settings. Um, but here we can see we've got all the data there. Everything's going back to the original location. So I'm just going to hit Restore. And because I told it to Restore Now, run the job now, um, it's going to immediately start pulling that data down. Um, again, we can go click on the report, click into the details. If we're a bit quicker this time, we might see the details appearing down here. There we go. So it's showing us the data transfer um, of the files coming back to the NAS, um, the ones that I'd uh, stored up in the previous backup job. Um, so we'll just wait for a second for this to come up and say successful. Uh, once that's finished, uh, we'll be able to um, uh, go look at the data, make sure it's restored everything. A few moments later. Okay, and we can see that that says successful now. So that's a, a success on the backup job. We can go in and see the report, see all the data if we want to. Um, so transferred two gigabytes gives us the transmission speed, everything like that. So that's good. So we're happy with that. Uh, so now what we can do is we can go into the file station and look at the data folder and we can see all that data has come back exactly where it was because that's what I told it to do. Um, so dead easy to do uh, backups, also very easy to do restores of your data. Uh, you can also do those restores of data to another NAS. So let's say this NAS uh, had an issue or you've got a new NAS that you want to restore to. Uh, you can do the exact same thing. Just log into the same cloud account. You'll see the data there uh, and you can pick a destination. So it won't necessarily put it back where the data came from because it's a different NAS this time. Uh, but you can create a shared folder called data on the new NAS and copy it there if you want to. Uh, but yeah, this is backup up and restore um, from a cloud destination. Uh, we'll do another video on uh, the MyQNAP cloud storage um, a bit later on as well. Um, if anyone has any questions, please do let me know. Uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot. Bye.